This is Rick the Butcher from the Butcher's Block. Some people complained about facial hair in their meat that we were making, so by the power of ma movie magic, bam, right back at you with a fresh cut, high speed, low drag. Hi, welcome back everybody to the Butcher Block. It's Rick the Butcher Belinsky. Last week we did ham, we got our cure on, but this week we're talking about the Butcher's tender side. No, we're not talking about chocolates and flowers. We're talking about tenderloin or back straps. A couple things you want to do, make sure you have a good set of sharp knives and it wouldn't hurt to get yourself a nice meat cleaning glove. It has a little Kevlar, a little stainless steel. It'll help, you know, especially when you're going fast on those cuts, make sure you don't cut yourself and only cutting your wild game. One of my favorite things to do is to cut a beautiful butterfly tenderloin. Sure, you can grill the whole thing on, on the grill after it's marinated or seasoned, or you can cut it in the medallions, but if you really want to impress your friends and family, you want to cut a nice medallion. And this week's episode, we're going to show you all how to do that. Like with any wild game, you want to make sure it's really trimmed up of all the fat and all that gaminess that people say that they don't like, and the silver skin. The best way to do that, keep your meat really cold, your knife sharp, and just run with it along the natural lines. When you're trimming up all of your meat pieces, some people like to use their butcher's knife, the heavy one with the heavy back on it, so it doesn't dull up so fast when you hit a bone or something. Or I like to use my fillet knife, or I call it the butcher's surgeon knife. I can get in there, follow those lines, I'm more precise, just like a surgeon's cut. Come in a little closer, and we can see how we do it. We can see this line of fat and silver skin where the muscles separate when they took it out. So we're just gonna go ahead and follow that line straight. Try and make one smooth cut, go all the way down to the cutting board. And you can see it'll just peel right off. A great tip, make sure your meat is very cold and your knives are very sharp. You're gonna thank me in the end. If you have a long run of silver skin and fat on one side, no problem. Just make a little cut, flap it over, lay it down on its side, put your nice fillet there, give a little gentle pressure, and run your knife, you can feel it, run your knife right along the bottom, and it'll jump right out. You're gonna get very little trim and silver skin off of a back strap or a tenderloin, but it's not wasted. It can either go into your burger grind or then make great dog treats. Cutting the perfect tenderloin butterfly can be done in a quick couple easy steps. If you're used to this or not, you can measure out how thick your tenderloin is using your knife blade. And this one's about two knife blades wide. To make that perfect butterfly cut, you wanna come a little bit more in than halfway. And how thick you cut them, well that's up to you. But I like to use three quarters of an inch to an inch. So that's what we're gonna do first. So we have about an inch. And then you wanna come down a little bit more than halfway. Takes practice, you'll get the feel of it. And you have the perfect tenderloin butterfly. I'm Rick the Butcher, and thanks for tuning in to The Butcher's Block.